Oh, yeah. Ryan Sungli of The Ring Magazine here with David Roman Curiel. You are a uh, prospect from here in New Jersey. Tell me about it. First off, um, you're fighting tomorrow. Uh, you have a fight against, uh, uh, what was his name again? Margarito. Margarito, Margarito Hernandez. Um, tell me, do you know anything about your opponent? I really don't know anything about my opponent. Um, I've seen a couple of things on him, but I don't know too much about him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but tell me, like, um, you know, you had a nine-year layoff heading into your last fight. Um, you looked very impressive. Um, and um, first of all, tell me about, you know, being off for nine years. What was the reason, and, and, and did that affect you at all? Um, it definitely affected me a little because I, I was a lot, a lot more fluent nine years ago. Um, and I just came back to the gym just to get out and get back in shape or whatever. I got back in the ring, my trainer, and he was like, man, you still got it, man. Let's give it another shot. And that's exactly what I did. Mm -hmm. I mean, you never thought about boxing during that time? I thought about it. I missed it. I watched boxing throughout the whole nine years. Every every, every show, every Showtime show, every top rank show, I watched everything. I love boxing, but, you know, I was just caught up. Mm -hmm. You know, um, now you actually come from a boxing family. Your brother yes. uh, is uh, Freddie Curiel. He was a former professional fighter. Um, tell me about that, like, just coming from a boxing family. It, was it just always in your blood? Yeah, as soon as I was as soon as I was old enough to throw a punch, I was throwing punches. Mm -hmm. you know, I was going to camps with my brother. He'll take me out to camps. He'll take me out to all his fights. I would meet all the top fighters: Buddy McGurr, Moran Muhammad. That was just here last week. Like, yeah, I, I was I was born into this. Murad Muhammad, whom you had an interesting uh, interaction with. Yeah, I didn't even know it was him, man. He lost a little bit of weight, so I'm like, who's this guy? You know? But. Praise some Muhammad, man. There we go. Um, so tell me about your amateur background, because you had an extensive amateur background. Um, you know, how many fights did you have, and, um, and, and, and which titles did you win? I had like 85 amateur fights. Um, I was always one foot in, one foot out. But every time I come back, I'll train for a month or two and make it all the way to the finals, mm -hmm. nationals, all that. So I always had the natural ability. Mm -hmm. um, I won silver gloves. I won the junior golden gloves. I made it to the um, semifinals in the National Golden Gloves. Um, all types of tournaments, man. The um, Lake Placid. All the tournaments you can name as a child, I I've been in all of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so then, um, w you, you know, you you, uh, you had the layoff, now you're back. What are your short-term goals? What are your long-term goals in boxing? Uh, my short-term goal is to get five wins under my belt and knock out one of these prospects. Mm -hmm. Get my name out there, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm on a um, short journey right now. I, I got a couple of years left in me, and I'm trying to make noise. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, and, and also, I also want to ask you about like you train with a very talented group. You know, you're under uh, Dwight Fleming Senior. Um, he's got Dwight Fleming Junior, who I think is one of the best prospects coming up in New Jersey right now. There's Jameer Cope. Um, oh you know, tell me about you know, just being in that atmosphere. This is great, man. Like exactly what it was like. When I got back in the gym, they was the ones training and sparring and stuff. And as soon as I got in there with them, Dwight seen something in me. Like, man, you still got it. You still do something. So, being there with Jameer Cole, Dwight Fleming Jr., Ian Green, um, Norman Neely. Like, we're a good team. We all basically grew up together, too. So, it was a great, great atmosphere. And lastly, um, what can fans expect from you tomorrow night at the Robert Treat Hotel? Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not looking for the knockout, but expect the knockout, baby.